practice started in 2013 when I was diagnosticated with the left breast cancer. It happened like, like this. And uh, when the doctor told me the, the, the diagnostic, I, uh, I decided to, to wait. I cry a lot, I pray a lot, but I said, let's, let's find something to help me, not, not in the hospital. And I'm waiting two years. I told to my husband to respect my decision. And t- together we, we, we went to China to found a solution, to found a, a, a treatment, a therapy. And um, I told him, I, I remember in 2013, I told him, you know, it, it's impossible in this world. We, we, we didn't found a, a person. It's a man. I told him it's a man who, who will heal me. You know, it, this happened in 2013. And two years we we searching in India, in um, Nepali, in uh, China, in Peru to found some somebody to to help me, but it uh, didn't happen. I took a lot of uh, tea, uh, a lot of pills, uh, uh, traditional medicine, chi- medicine Chinese, but the tumor doesn't shrink too much, doesn't uh, uh, increase, but doesn't decrease. You know. And uh, in 2015, when I come back to the doctor for control, they said it's too late for uh, surgery and they put me on a chemotherapy. I took a four course of uh, chemotherapy. After I, I did the surgery, left the mastectomy. And when I, I thought everything is fine, it's finished. One year later in 2016, uh, when I come back for, for control, for checking, in the liver, it was 18% metastasis and also a small tumor in the right breast. And I said, oh my God, when I, I thought everything is finished and I'm healthy and I am able to, to, to be with my family, with my husband and with our three kids, I said, I start again with treatment and the hospital and, you know, and I, I'm going to in Houston, in a hospital in America for a second opinion. They told me that it's uh, when I asked the, the doctor, uh, please, uh, the doctor, tell me honest, how how long I will live? And the answer, it was not so much how you wish. And I, I come back home, I'm crying in the plane and my husband, it's a long plane between Bucharest and Houston. And my husband started to, to cry and and he, he, he told me, I don't know how to do it. It's important for kids to have a mother. If I can, I, I take your your sickness and you stay in the life. And I said, this is my karma. Don't touch my karma. I will solve somehow. It's somebody on this planet who, who can help me. And I come back. I, I start the treatment. Doesn't work for liver. And um, in 2018, my friend Ilana bring me in Netherlands in a retreat, Tao Calligraphy Retreat with Master Shai. It was for first time when I hear about uh, Master Sha, about uh, calligraphy. And there, Master Francisco, uh, when Master, Master Sha was in Toronto and we were in, uh, in uh, Netherlands. And when uh, Master Sha asked to Master Francisco to choose somebody with uh, condition with cancer, Master Francisco chose me like a demo. And um, Master Sha made, give me a blessing and a transmission. This was in in September or October 2018, and I come back home. I start. I, I come back home with a small calligraphy from the white book, holy book, and I started to trace with my husband, with my kids, and I put love, peace, and harmony in, uh, everywhere in the rooms. And we started to trace, uh, and everybody pray. And in December, after two months, when I come back to to the doctor, they made me all the scan. and uh, they discovered that all 80 percent metastasis metastasis from the liver disappeared and only one dot on the membrane remained. And the doctor said, wow, this is miracle because the treatment doesn't work. And I said, yes, indeed, it is a miracle. And now in December, I, uh, I do the, uh, the, the last scan CT and the pet is clear. It's clean. I'm healthy. So happy. I'm so grateful. I, I, I don't know if uh, if I will be there, I will hug Master Shah because <laughs> finally, finally, the result is it's clear. Oh, congratulations, congratulations, Carmen. Carmen. Thank Carmen. you so much. We're, We're very, man. very happy for you. Well, 
Welcome to the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field. I think it's called the Field of Infinite Possibilities. In this field, we can connect to the Divine, the Tao, the Source. We can connect with Tao, Love, and Light. We can connect with Source, purest, most positive information, energy, and matter to help us to transform negative information, energy, and matter. This is what tonight is all about. Tonight and every night that we meet in the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field, and there are only 12 of these, 12 of these centers, Um, 12 of these fields in the world. So you have a very special opportunity tonight to be in this field and to experience the love, the light, the compassion, the infinite possibilities. that can um, bring about transformation of any area of of our lives. So my name is Jimena Gavino, and I am the Tao uh, Center Leader, the um, Tao Calligraphy Healing Field Center Leader here in Vancouver. I have the great honor. Um, I'm actually here at the center almost every day. I, I try to come almost every day to um, meditate in this field because every day that you step into the field is a day where your the pollution that we carry inside of us in our soul in our heart in our mind in our body it's accumulating it's getting denser and thicker but when we come into this field the field is literally removing the pollution, lifting, transforming, aligning, harmonizing, creating order out of disorder, harmony out of disharmony. Because that's what happens to us. Is, you know, take, uh, take the example of your liver. And years and years and years ago, 21 years ago, when I met Master Shah, He gave this example. He still uses it because it's so valid, right? So he said, all it takes is one cell in your liver, one cell in your heart, one cell in your lungs to be sick. And now the functioning of that organ has been changed. Now, instead of having optimal functioning of the liver, optimal functioning of the heart, optimal functioning of the lungs, optimal functioning of your spleen, your kidneys, your pancreas, your knees, you have chaos. You have disorder. You have one sick cell that is beginning to multiply. And depending on the power of your immune system it can either transform it or it multiplies and it multiplies and it multiplies and now you have some healthy cells some sick cells and you don't feel so well you have a message in the liver of sickness in Tao science Dr. Rulin Shu, um, which Dr. Rulin Shu uh, co-founded with Dr. and Master Shah, she takes this a concept called Shen Qi Jing, which is an ancient, ancient concept that says that everyone and everything is created from Shen Qi Jing. And Shen represents the soul, heart, mind, and I'll come back in a minute, Qi, energy, and Jing, matter. 
So everyone and everything is made up of Shen Qi Jing. And um, there is a, um, um, a pathway. So the soul leads the heart, the heart leads the mind, the mind leads the energy, the energy leads the body. And traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture and um, Tai Chi, I Ching, Qigong, all of those are based on this and many other, but this is one of the key ancient, ancient teachings. Yeah? In Tao Science, Dr. Rulin explains that soul is information. And in fact, the soul is the warehouse of information of all the information that we have brought into this lifetime. And this information determines the experiences that we have in this lifetime. The positive experiences come from messages of alignment, connection, harmony, order within ourselves and with the divine, the Tao and the source. Messages of disharmony, messages of disease, messages of broken relationships, messages of financial challenges, messages of businesses that are failing, messages of pets that have, you know, painful uh, conditions or situations, whatever, whatever causes us pain is because the messages which are negative in nature have um, disconnection um, disconnection like I mentioned to you in the liver the, the liver if you have one sick cell and that cell multiplies 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 now you have disorder and you have disconnection from the source because if you have connection to the source there is order there is harmony in um, the case of illness there's a disconnection and that's true whether it's physical, um, the, the illness is physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. Yeah, It's true for relationships. Just think about a relationship. If there's misinformation, uh, miscommunication, what do you have? You have a disconnection. The partners disconnect. There is disorder in that relationship. They're no longer functioning as one cohesive unit. And the disconnection may be so much so pronounced that they're going their separate ways. They're living in the same house, but they're living parallel lives. They're not living a joint life. This is true for finances. This is true for anything. So when, you, when we discover that we are suffering, we want to fix it. Many, many ways to fix, fix our issues. Tonight, we're talking about how to fix our issues by um, connecting with the field, the Tao calligraphy healing field, and the power of this field, and especially the Tao calligraphy, Tao Bay. So this is Master Shah's newest book, this book is called Tao Calligraphy to Heal and Rejuvenate Your Back. This book has a calligraphy printed in the front cover and in the back cover. This calligraphy is a source field. What does that mean? What does that mean, Jimena? What is a source field? Well, the source, um, we can't really define the source because the source has created us. So we are within the fields that the source has created. A uh, great sage, philosopher, wise man, known to us by the name of Lao Tzu, is the author of a book called The Tao Te Ching. This book was written roughly 2,500 to 3,000 years ago. And it is the second most widely read book in the world, second only to the Bible. Probably because the Bible they put it in every hotel room. 
I haven't seen the Tao Te Ching in every hotel room. It is read by moms, dads, university students, professors, engineers, doctors, businessmen, country leaders, philosophers, writers. It is read by a wide range of people who are trying to understand and seek an answer to their life's questions. What is the purpose of my life? What, why does the world exist? How do we um, uh, accomplish what we're meant to accomplish in the world? All of those questions can be answered in the Tao Te Ching. This book said, in this book, Lao Tzu said, I cannot, I do not know the name of the Tao. I cannot give you the name of the Tao. But for the sake of this writing, I reluctantly give the name Tao. This is the name that he gave the source. And he explained the, 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 the source, the Tao, that can be uh, explained by words, understood by thoughts, is not the true Tao. Because in order to understand the true Tao, you'd have to be able to stand outside and witness the true Tao. See it, feel it, touch it, smell it, but you can't. The Tao, the source, has no shape, no image. Cannot see it, cannot touch it, cannot smell it, cannot taste it. It has no yin, no yang. No hot, no cold, no um, um, high or low, no time, no space, no shape, no image. The source, the ultimate creator, created, creates everyone and everything. It creates you and me, but it creates heaven and Mother Earth. But heaven and Mother Earth are only one planet, one heaven. And there are countless heavens, countless planets, countless stars, galaxies, and universes. The source, the Tao, carries the ten greatest qualities of the greatest love. It's unconditional love. Everyone talks about it. I want to be loved unconditionally. You are the source loves you unconditionally. Here, you can feel it. So, greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light, greatest humility, greatest harmony, flourishing, gratitude, service, and enlightenment. So, the Tao Te Ching is, um, explains guides, I would say more than anything, guides us how to develop these qualities so that we can then align, harmonize, be one with the source. How many people talk about wanting to go back to the source, wanting to go back to the creator, wanting to be in a state of oneness? The ten greatest qualities of the Tao are a stepping stone. They're a means to get there. That's powerful. But how many of us have the fortitude, have the perseverance to continue to purify our heart? So what um, the field can do for us, this field that we're in, and um, is it can um, it brings to us the frequency and the vibration of the source. Everyone and everything is vibrating. All cells are vibrating. They're expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting. Everything is vibrating. Everything can be measured in terms of waves. But what couldn't here? What wouldn't heal if you were given direct access to source frequency and vibration? 
the frequency and vibration that created us that is so pure, so positive that it can transform anything. This uh, field that um, we're sitting in also has the highest soul power. What is soul power? Soul power is the ability of a soul to make things happen. So for the last century, I guess, we've been focusing on mind power, the ability of our mind to make things happen. But what we don't, what we haven't uh, yet experienced on a mass level, but this is what Master Shah is trying to do, is to help all of us to experience the power of our soul and then the power of the soul, the power of the divine, the Tao and the source. Because that's where everything begins, that's where everything ends. Everything else is just an in-between space that can be quite painful. But here, in this field, in this space, Everything is possible. Everything is possible. So the field that we're in is invisible. But yet it's bigger than biggest, smaller than smallest. How did this field get here? (laughs) Good question. Very good question. How did it get here? Tao calligraphy. So calligraphy is an ancient art that has been around for, who knows, more than 2,000 years, I would imagine, because it's, it's, a, uh, it's originally a, a pictorial form of communication. So like painting, the Chinese art of calligraphy is highly, highly revered and honored around the world. There are very, very uh, renowned calligraphers. And the practice of calligraphy is considered an art form. So calligraphy is often praised as poetry without language or words, dance without movement, painting without pictures, Music without sound. Calligraphy communicates. Visually, it is art. Often it has a message. Tao calligraphy is unique. Tao calligraphy is the source, oneness, transformative art. Tao calligraphy is used to carry the Tao, to bring the Tao from the beyond to us here on Mother Earth. So the Tao calligraphy carries a Tao or source field with the most positive source information, energy, and matter, the most um, uh, pure um, messages, of love, forgiveness, compassion, and life, to transform negative messages, negative information, energy, and matter in any aspect of our life. So the field is invisible. The calligraphy is visible. The field within the calligraphy is invisible, but we can feel it. So let me show you, I'm going to show you a slide Why does calligraphy work? Let me explain to you. Now I'm using this uh, diagram for you. So I already talked about the ancient teaching of Shen, Qi, Jing. And Shen has three components, soul, which in the spiritual, because this is ancient spiritual teachings. What is spiritual? Spiritual is sacred, coming from the soul world. So it is a sacred teaching. So this sacred teaching basically said 
everyone and everything is made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Energy and matter are body. So it doesn't matter. A book, my cell phone, my cup, the keys, everyone and everything is made up of soul, heart, mind, and body. Why is that significant? Because if something isn't functioning well, we need to know where and how to to create transformation for the whole being, not just for a small part uh, um, of ourselves. So in the ancient teaching, it said soul is the spirit and the soul leads the heart. The heart is the core of life. The heart is um, leads the mind. Um, so the soul leads our heart, our emotions. The mind, uh, the heart leads the mind, our thinking, our consciousness. The mind leads the energy, and energy leads matter. When everything is lined up and they are harmonized, they are aligned, they are harmonized, <laughs> There's in a, they are in a state of oneness, there is order, so the soul is leading the heart, the heart is leading the mind, the mind is leading the energy, the energy is leading the matter, you have health, you have flourishing. You have flourishing in every aspect of that being and in every aspect of that life. But there are positive messages and there are negative messages. So the positive messages in this diagram are depicted as red plus signs in a red circle. The negative messages are depicted as negative messages in the black circle. So it doesn't matter, positive, negative, everything starts with the message, with what uh, in Tao Science, Dr. Rulin calls information. In Tao Science, she explains that soul is the warehouse of information. It is the repository of all the messages that we, that we carry that will manifest in this lifetime. They have the potential to manifest. And that is positive messages and negative messages. Good health challenges, maybe a life-threatening condition. Um, those messages are sent from the, um, from the warehouse to the heart, which is the receiver of the information. From the heart, when the heart receives the message, then it sends it forward to be um, um, to be received, to be actioned. Sorry, to be actioned by the mind. So the mind begins the process of actualizing from an idea, a thought, a concept into physical form, where we can touch it, feel it, smell it. Um, um, see it. So it sends information to the energy and says, raise the frequency, lower the frequency, adjust the frequency to match this message and deliver the output of XYZ. The energy does that, sends the message to the matter, and the matter manifests in physical form the message that was, um, that was sent to the heart. And so it can be that we have great health, health, health challenges. So why I mentioned health challenges? Because tonight we're focusing on the back. Why is all of this important? Traditionally, the different um, healing modalities that people have used, in fact, um, sorry, I think I took that down prematurely, sorry. So traditionally, what has happened is Western medicine primarily focuses on the matter. It focuses at the, at the end of the, it, it comes into play at the end of the information pathway. And what happens then, unfortunately, is that there is a temporary transformation. So if when you listened to the video the, earlier of Carmen, 
Carmen talked about she had breast cancer that um, had metastasized. Uh, she um, um, finally received treatment. They thought everything was fine. And then two, three years later, what happened? The cancer, because the message was not removed, the cancer manifested in the liver. 80% of her liver was covered with cancer, um, with cysts. 80% of her liver. Because the message had not been changed. Only the matter um, in, in her breasts were transformed. Energy is, um, has been the domain of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine doctors who have used acupuncture, Tao light massage, sorry, uh, uh, acupuncture, um, how was it called? Uh, internal massage and herbs to adjust the flow of energy through the meridians, which are invisible pathways of energy in the body. Still, the message of cancer remained. We have been focusing on mindfulness. Mindfulness exploded 20 years ago. So it was something that some people, some gurus, some people in India were doing, some esoteric people were doing and, you know, in the Andes. And suddenly it exploded in the West. And we're practicing mindfulness. We're practicing controlling our minds and being able to harness the power of our minds to transform ourselves. Still, the message of cancer persists. There are practices and modalities to address the heart. Still, the message remains. Only Transforming the message at the root helps you to transform the entire pathway and to have a higher probability that the message won't return. There is no guarantee. There is no 100% guarantee because there are layers and layers, waves and waves and waves of messages. But if you can transform the message at the root, you have a high probability of, of lasting transformation, at least in this lifetime. And that's where um, the field comes in. So the Shen Qi Jing, the soul, heart, mind, and body of the source is present in this field. That means that we can replace the negative information at the root and go all the way through from the warehouse of information to the receiver, to the processor, to the mover, to the transformer, so that you transform from message into physical manifestation of negative message to positive health. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. But that's what's here. And we've been tracing this, the, this calligraphy. Why am I so excited about this? Because I have three chronic, challenging, incurable conditions. There are no cures for the conditions that I have in Western medicine. And we're not talking about acid reflux, which I, I, I had for years because I, I was taking, I was um, taking, was it an acids from a tub, not a little bottle, a tub. I had a big tub of antacids on my desk next to my phone that I was popping like, you know, uh, like gummy bears. No, the, these conditions, Crohn's disease, there is no cure. They, they snip your, your, your intestines. There is no cure. I have a condition called Charlovsis. It's so rare, they don't even do research. And the, the uh, Canadian um, 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 healthcare uh, classifies that as a rare uh, and incurable uh, condition. So what is so significant, um, and that condition, by the way, is in my spine, so I know a little bit about uh, back issues. So what is so significant about this calligraphy 
is that when you heal the spine, when you heal the back, the back includes the spinal column and the spinal cord. The spinal cord is, is part of your central nervous system. It connects with the brain, creates it. That is your central nervous system. It is the, it is directing every organ, system, cell, part of the body. If you can affect transformation in the spinal cord, you can affect transformation in every cell, organ, system, and part of the body. That's amazing. That's amazing. In the back is a, are some key spaces. There's a major meridian in the back, the do meridian. There is a space in front of the spinal column called the Y jaw. That space is connected to every organ, system, cell, cell unit, and every meridian in the body. It's connected to the chi channel, the most important healing uh, channel in the body. So when you heal the back, you can heal pretty much anything, head to toe, skin to bone. So let's start. Let's start. And I want you to post, what brought you here tonight? What health challenge do you have? What you, do you want to transform? Because what we found in the last two weeks is that people's um, uh, digestive issues were transformed. So people who had stomach issues that were, you know, nervous stomach or they had um, uh, pain in their, um, uh, anywhere in their, in, their, in their digestive system, people who had vertigo, people with knee pain, um, all kinds of challenges were uh, suddenly experiencing remarkable transformation. So put in the chat, what brought you here? What do you want to transform? Because this book, this book that you're looking at has a Tao calligraphy. That Tao calligraphy has a field. It has a source field. So it doesn't matter that it's a print on a book. It's a source field that you can connect to. So let me see what you're writing. Catherine says, trying to transform range of motion in my knee. Beautiful. We want to see you dancing. Beverly, needed to be in the field, the lower back, right leg, right knee. Yep. Beverly, I'm going to suggest that you focus on your right hip. Lydia, I have had back issues in the past and I'm here for preventative maintenance. Um, post, what is your current issue? What is your current issue? Not, I'm not asking you for your back issues. What is your current issue? Because the point that I'm making is that it doesn't matter what your issue is. You heal the back, you heal everything. Because the back is connected to every organ system, part of the body, to every meridian, every uh, channel in the body. Nuri, fatigue, Marcy, I have pain in my upper and lower back. My, uh, oops, I moved. My uh, pain level is eight to a nine at times. Yeah, I have the book. But do you have the field? Are you in the field, Marcy? No. <laughs> That's what we're offering you tonight. You can have the book. I hope you have the book. I want you to have the book. And I want you to get the Tao Bay Treasure. So we sent you an email. Get the link. Honor $30 Canadian is like, I don't know, what, 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 is, the, what, what is the conversion? It's probably like $24 US. It's nothing. And you get a Tao back treasure as a gift from master shah run don't walk get it for your husband wife children dog cat your grandmother you know whoever all right may uh lydia okay oh reluctantly she goes oh, okay working on reducing weight all right good jill lower back and brain issues god this is perfect for you jill get this book Suzanne, I would like to transform the numbness in my feet and lower legs. Okay, who else is with us? We've got 57 people. We need 57 requests. Where are you? Don't hide. 
lower left side back hip pain and issues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, share, share, share. Left shoulder healing. Good. Share, share, share. Okay. First practice, and I'm going to teach you if you haven't done this, feet flat on the ground, back straight, tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Your feet are shoulder width apart. Why? And you're not sitting back. You're sitting, you know, in the middle of your chair. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Reach for heaven with your crown chakra. Reach for Mother Earth with the balls of your feet. Put your hands, one hand in front of the other, about six inches apart in front of your lower abdomen. Visualize golden light in your lower abdomen. Dear the Tao, collig dear the Tao, dear the source. So these practices are in this book, by the way, and I'm going to show you today. Oh, I, I, I have it lined up to show you the animation because it comes with the animation. And that is amazing. Anyways, um, so there is um, there are invocations. So uh, dear the dear the Tao source, dear divine, uh, dear all of our ancestors, fathers, mothers, angels, guides, protectors, whoever you consider to be in your um, in your field. So these are the outer, uh, what we my master Shah calls the outer souls. And you make a request. I love you. You offer, um, you offer love and gratitude. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Would you please give me a blessing for, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be your back. It can be anything. Remember, your back your is, has the spinal cord. Spinal cord is connected to every organ system part of the body. Trust. Trust. You need a blessing for trust. <laughs> Would you please give me a blessing for I am very grateful. Connect with your in, with your inner self. So dear soul, heart, mind and body of my liver, heart, lung, spleen, whatever part of the body you need healing and transformation for. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to transform yourself. Do a good job. And we're going to connect with the Tao Calligraphy. Do you have the Tao Calligraphy Tao Bay? Love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Would you give me a blessing for and make that request? So we're going to practice the Qi uh, Xing uh, Hu Jua. This is the practice that Master Sha is, is emphasizing for everybody. Deep breath in. Breathe in as if you're, you're bringing in through every pore of your body, head to toe, skin to bone. The field is coming into you and going straight to that part of the body that needs healing and transformation. So move one hand over that part of the body and keep your other hand in front of the lower abdomen. Visualize the light coming from the calligraphy. Deep breath in. Hold it. Dao Bei. So we bring in the positive, we exhale the negative, right? Deep breath in. Qi Xing. Dao Bei. Hold your breath. You chant. You start to chant before you release your breath. Then the breath will come from the base of the body. So body power, sit feet flat on the ground, back straight, reach for Mother Earth with your feet, reach for heaven with your byway point, tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth, one hand in front of the part of the body that needs healing, the other in front of the lower abdomen. Mind power is creative visualization. We imagine a meteor shower of light coming from the calligraphy from the field 
in your book, in the book that's on the screen, from the field, the Tao calligraphy healing field that we're in, through every pore of your body into your lower abdomen, into that part of the body that needs transformation. That's mind power. Where we put our mind is where the field goes. Breath power, abdominal breathing. You take a nice deep breath in, gentle, very gentle, all the way down. Your abdomen expands, hold it, and then you chant. Chanting is sound power. Sound of the Tao Bay causes our body to vibrate. So I, I, I did a practice today with Dr. Rulin, um, and she said something beautiful. I'm going to share it with you. Breathe in Tao Bay. Breathe in the message of Tao Bay into every cell, every unit, every organ, every system. Breathe in the source field of Tao Bay. Breathe, deep breath in. Tao Bay. Qixing. Tao Bay. Qixing. Dao Be Chi Shing Dao Be Chi Shing Dao Be So focus. Do your best to focus on a physical um, um, challenge. That's what we're focusing on tonight. So focus on heart, lungs, spleen, kidneys. Yeah. So we're working with Tao Bay tonight. Deep breath in. Tao Bay. Dao Be Visualize. Really learn to imagine the light coming in 360 degrees into your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, wherever you need transformation. Filled with pure golden crystal light. Deep breath in and release Dalbe. Release, release the pollution, release the negative messages in your heart, in your lungs, in your kidneys, in your spleen, in your back, in your knees. Let go. Let go. Deep breath in. Dao Be. Deep breath in. Dao Be. Deep breath in, Qi Xing. Dao Be. Totally relax. Just relax. When you relax, Master Guo, Master Sha's spiritual father used to say, everyone's a healer. Everyone's a healer. I think that's on page 36 of Power Healing Book or the Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine Book. Everyone's a healer. You just have to learn to relax. 
because then the cells can expand and contract and the movement of energy, the transformation of energy into matter, matter into energy, occurs effortlessly. Then there's no stagnation of energy, no stagnation of matter. Deep breath in. Daube. Let go of the pain. Let go of the suffering. Let go. Let it go. It's so, it, it, is, it actually, you know, Master Shah teaches. He says uh, in, in um, I don't remember whether it's the Heart Sutra or the, or the um, Tao Te Ching, or it's an ancient teaching. Drop the knife, become a Buddha. What does that mean? It means let go of everything you're attached to. Let it go. We are attached to our pain. We're attached to our sickness. But if we can let them go, what would life look like? What would your life look like? Don't you want to live happy and healthy and vibrant lives? It's possible. But we have to let go of the pain. Deep breath in. Daube. So let me ask Mark and um, Monique to share their third eye. Wow, you know, I can see for myself because I asked for my brain, but I saw like the light from the Dao Bay. Wow, shining, shining, shining. And so many, like a realignment was happening very, very deep mm. inside my spinal, spinal column. And actually I heard, I heard a click. <laughs> I heard a click in my neck. And, you know, I saw also a scroll with my third eye. There was a scroll coming down. And whatever negative message was replaced with Dao Bay calligraphy. And it came all the way down and the the positive energy came from high, high, high. I couldn't see like the team of saints and Buddhas that are bringing and showering us with so much light, showering us with, you know, messages of, you know, alignment, messages of Shen Shi Jing as one, beautiful messages of oneness, and my whole body was filled, filled with, you know, warm. And I also saw for people that are attending tonight, like, like a movie of people being in complete light and in oneness. The alignment is absolutely unbelievable. And what's coming from the Tao calligraphy field, where you are, Jimena, all the calligraphies are so happy to be joining. They are joining in their incredible light and incredible powerful messages. And all the messages of alignment in the center, in the Dao Master Shadar Center of Vancouver, all the calligraphy are being act activated to heal and transform the request of everyone in the right hip, for Beverly, in the shoulder, for Juliana, in you know, people were receiving mm -hmm. so much healing because of the mantra and because of, of their the activation of the center where 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 you are, Jimena. Mm -hmm. It's it's a real chamber of healing. Thank you so much for allowing me to share. Mark? Yeah, thanks so much for allowing me to share. Um, um yeah, because we're here in the center, you know, everything is is building, and the uh, the light from the newest book, you know, the the Dabe, um, was actually amplified because we are here in the center, and it went out, and just like what Monique saw, you know, everyone that put their heart into this practice was receiving the light that was coming in at a 
at a different level. So depending on your participation was how much frequency you were allowed to absorb in that, in that way. And as that light was coming in, it was really moving into like, um, like the whole spinal column. But because there's so many things that are connected to it, like what Monique was mentioning, people were receiving healing just uh, for the back area, but for different areas of the back, you know, because sometimes we're, we need to be more supported or uh, we need to be more aligned or other um, uh, conditions. And this was also bringing that uh, up as I saw how the, the energy was moving through the body. So very beautiful to watch that. Thank you so much. Um, so I don't see your posts. Who, um, what did you experience from that practice? What did you experience? So on a road, I'm yawning a lot and my eyes are. Tearing a sign of something clearing. Yeah, that's true. That happens a lot when you're uh, when something is transforming when it's it's when it's quite strong. Um, there's a. a um, the not only the energy is shifting, but also the um, you, you experience it, of course, in your um, um, body fluids. Um, so Sarah says the Tao Bay is so beyond the beyond. I cannot thank Master Shah enough um, for offering this to humanity. Yeah, thank you. Let me do a, a flow for everybody. So I want you to understand a few things. Um, that are uh, happening. So let me connect and then uh, we'll do uh, another practice. I want to show you the, uh, the calligraphy uh, animation. Deep breath in. So this is the Tao calligraphy healing field. My most beloved ones, this gathering, a Tao calligraphy, Tao Bay healing session, has the support of Heaven's healing teams. For those of you with third eye capabilities, what you will see is a new layer of saints and holy beings that have been sent specifically for healing the back with the Tao calligraphy, Tao Bay, and with the Tao light treasure, Tao Bay. For heaven is most grateful that you have joined and that you uh, and that your practice together is creating a greater awareness of the power of Tao Bay. The Tao Bay calligraphy that your beloved teacher has shared on the cover, front and back of his book, Tao calligraphy to heal and rejuvenate the bath is a gift of his greatest love for humanity. Any aspect of the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies are affected. by the Tao calligraphy, Tao Bay. The organs, the systems, the cells, the spaces, the energy centers, the Y channel, the Chi channel, 
the major meridians, Ren meridian, Du meridian, each of these is touched by the Tao calligraphy, Tao Bei. If you practice as a group, as a community, a global community of Tao calligraphy, healing field, practitioners and servants, great transformation can occur on Mother Earth. great healing on a deep, deep level of infinite numbers of blockages, of negative information, energy, and matter. Truly acknowledge the gift that has been given so freely. Help as many people as possible. Teach them this simple practice. Trace and experience the power that is present in this calligraphy. For only through experience will you find your voice, your heart, and be able to be of the greatest service to others. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, so many people, we want to serve, but we can't. What I just got from this flow was that, really, you just need to trace Dao Bay and all your blockages will be transformed. So uh, let me see, people have posted. Thank you so much. Let's see who's posted. Um, Deborah says, I'm deeply blessed to access a deeper level of forgiveness practice. Good for you. Okay. Um, okay. So next practice is um, many of you have already received. Thank you, Beverly. Many of you have already received the Tao Golden Light Ball and Golden Liquid Spring for Tao Bay. So dear my Tao calligraphy, sorry, dear my Tao Golden Light Ball and Golden Liquid Spring for uh, Tao Bay uh, source back. Please turn on. Please give me a blessing for and make your request. Same request you had before. So we're going to connect and you trace. You can trace with your hand, your five fingers. When we trace with our five fingers, we are in fact balancing our five elements. When you trace with your lower abdomen, you're bringing um, that energy uh, into your lower abdomen. So close, well, yeah, close your eyes, connect with the treasure, visualize the golden light ball in your spine. And from your spine, it can radiate in anywhere, anywhere in the body. It doesn't have to, you don't have to imagine it in your heart. Anywhere in your spine is perfect. And you can put one hand in front of your lower abdomen and then one hand anywhere in the body. doesn't matter. Why? Because this is the source field. The source field knows exactly where it needs to go. It knows exactly where the frequency is needed, what level of frequency and vibration, what message needs to be brought to that part of the body. 
and we chant as we trace Dao Be 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 So um this is one where I don't I don't have um, I don't, we don't have uh, the graphic that shows you the pathway. Don't worry about it. Connect with the, co- connect with the field. Don't, f- don't worry so much about the path. Connect with the field. It will naturally guide you how to trace. Okay? Dao be dao be. Dao be dao be. Dao. Be dao be, dao 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 be. Dao be, 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 dao be. Dao be dao be, 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 dao be dao be. Dao be dao be, dao be dao be, dao be dao be, dao be dao be, dao be dao be. So anybody who doesn't have a dao be treasure, everyone who does, turn theirs on. You're in the field. You are receiving the frequency and vibration of the dao be treasure. Open your heart. Let go of anything that prevents you from healing. Any beliefs. We have so many negative beliefs about healing, about just about anything. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And let let the Tao Bay treasure, the Tao Bay calligraphy, the Tao calligraphy healing field, let them nourish you head to toe, skin to bone, whatever you need at this time. Feel the joy of the source coming into your heart. Dao be dao be, 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 dao be dao be. Dao be dao be, 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 dao be. Dao be, 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 dao be. Dao be dao be, dao be dao be, 
Dao be 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 and then chant dao be 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 Close your eyes silently, chant. Just see the light. See, <clears throat> see the light in your um, spinal column, in your back, your whole back. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Mark, I'm going to start with you. Um, do you want to share? Can you share? What did you see? I'm going to mute myself. Yeah. Um, it's really incredible because the treasure and the book with the Dabe calligraphy on it really work together. And I've uh, been had the honor to see the the new animation. It was very similar to this. It was like your body's lit up, and like this animation, you can see the light coming from the calligraphy. It's connecting with the treasure because it has a really deep connection, and there's an alignment. And then there's also another higher layer that seems to come in. It just like you're just being washed into this. It's a lot different working with the treasure than what we did before. So the field that each of us are in is just exponentially. Uh, has uh, been grown. It's just uh, really amazing <laughs> the amount of light. So thank you. Okay. So thank you, Mark. Good. Um, uh, Monique, what did you experience? What did you What did you see, Monique, with your third eye? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. You know, <laughs> I thought I was a, like, I started like a 10 watt, it, like my ability to, to receive light. And with the tracing, uh, dao be, dao be, dao be, my, <laughs> it felt like my whole body became a hundred watts. And what I saw also for people is that the more, the more they're connecting, sincerely, heart opening, the whole body totally focused and grounded on receiving from the field and activating the treasure, 
so so much alignment with the source and what i saw is that when we join our five fingers and you said we're rebalancing the five elements it went through the spinal cord through the nervous system and then the ner- all the nerves everywhere in the body connected with all the organs started shining and it went through all the liquids all the, the blood the water the lymphatic system all the systems started to realign with with such high vibration it was an incredible alignment of vibrational field from the source the purest purest vibration and the whole body started to release so much like pollution negativity uh, pain messages of pain messages of all kinds of messages and <laughs> what I've experienced also and I hope people can feel that in their body I thought the floor was vi- vibrating it was not the floor it was the vibration all the way down to my feet and so it's head to toe and my fingers are swollen <laughs> because why because the spaces in the body have received so much vibration that it opened the spaces in the body so it was absolutely beautiful to watch himena thank you so much yeah thank you monique thank you mark um you know it's interesting this is the third week that we have been practicing with the dao calligraphy and um it's the first week that we're practicing with the treasure the dao bay um because nasa shah just you know made that available on the 25th of march so the power what i what i felt you know like monique said she felt the ground moving she thought the ground was moving or vibr- she thought the ground was vibrating yeah um the 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 for me the treasure has um because the treasures gather the uh, information the source frequency um uh vibration source information energy and matter they gather they they gather it into the treasure and then they then you're able to hold on to that otherwise it comes in and goes out goes in and out goes in and out goes in and out but not much transformation occurs so it looks with my third eye it looks dense it looks more dense it looks like the like the spinal column is more dense with light um it that's because the treasure is gathering and holding on to the light why do we need to practice because we want to continue to bring in more source shen chi jing into the treasure we want the treasure to be as big as possible then the amount of light gosh you know we stopped practicing and now i'm really cold like like monique i got really really warm and now i'm really cold um and so we want to bring as much of that source shen chi jing in hold it because then it is the more more we can hold on to it the more that we are transforming 24/7 our negative the pollution the negative information in our bodies the faster we can heal okay so let me see if i can do this let me see if i can show you briefly the animation this is what's waiting for you okay follow the instructions of master sha okay sorry in order to do this i'd have to share the audio and and we're almost actually out of time all right uh they go out the window sometimes but that's okay um So tonight you've had an opportunity to experience the Dao calligraphy healing field. You had an opportunity to experience the Dao calligraphy Dao Bay. And I don't know about you, but I had to put on a shawl. I actually put had to put my feet back into my slippers. Um because once we stop the practice, the frequency and the vibration dropped so fast. I was actually starting to shake. that's the power that is the power of the field that's the power 
of these treasure, this treasure that Master Shah has given us, the field and the treasure, the field in the calligraphy in the book, the field that's in this field. This is the generosity of Master Shah. This is the love. This is the ten da of Master Shah. This is Master Shah's greatest love for us. So I hope that each of you has been touched, and I want you to put into the chat, what did you experience tonight? What did you learn tonight? What did you get out of tonight? Um, what, are, what will you be doing different tomorrow? Will you carry the book with you? Will you set aside time every day to practice? Will you register and watch? You have to watch. Listen to, to um, gosh, Irvin Lasso. He gave us, he gave Master Shah this amazing and beautiful, absolutely beautiful endorsement the other day. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you because it was so stunning. Okay, let me read this to you. So, um, this is Dr. Irvin Laszlo. So those of you that don't know him, he is, of course, a philosopher, but he's also been, he's a scientist and a philosopher, and he has been nominated for Nobel Peace Prize twice, I believe it is. So as a scientist and philosopher, I have investigated the healing efficacy of the Tao field created by Master Shah's Tao calligraphy and Tao song. He is truly a messenger of Tao. I am delighted to report that the results I have personally experienced and observed in others are remarkable. I believe Master Shah's ability to create and generate positive information leading to healing through his Tao calligraphy and Tao song is the root of the efficacy of his healing. You need to watch that one and a half hour program. Maybe it was two hours. Um, Tao Science Symposium. You need to listen to Dr. Laszlo. It was unbelievably profound. I listened to him. I'm going to go back and listen again. It was so profound. He is amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Um, Master Shah presents ancient Tao wisdom in a way that is compatible with modern medicine and modern science. Scientists will need to study how this positive information is being created by Master Shah. And as we learn more about the mechanics of this process, science and humanity will, prog will progress toward self-healing in a world hallmarked by a great coherence and deeper love. Signed, Irvin Laszlo. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just the most <laughs> amazing endorsement? Wow, 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 wow. So I hope you listen to Dr. Laszlo. You register, well, you have to listen to him, you have to register. It's only $30 and you get this amazing treasure. But the most important thing is, will you practice? Will you do what it's going to take for you to transform? Tonight is a free evening. You received huge <laughs> blessings. I wish I could describe the realm that came in tonight to support us because Master Shah has made the Tao, uh, Golden Light Bond, Golden Liquid Spring for Tao Bay available to humanity. It's so exquisitely beautiful. So beautiful. Come, be in the field. Be in the field. Put everything else aside. Be in the field. If you are not in the field, you are missing out a lot. Join us every Wednesday. Put it on your calendar. You know, people used to watch, what was it, must see TV? Must be in the Tao field. Put that on your calendar. Must be in the Tao field. It's only 90 minutes. It's going to change your life. Register. Get the treasure. 
and then practice, 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 practice. There isn't any other way to do this than to practice. And here's what I've learned in working with people who have chronic and challenging conditions. The issue that you have, neck pain, back pain, kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease, that's just the crisis. Underneath that is the real transformation. Underneath that is the real work that needs to be done. Are you willing to do it? I challenge you to do that. I challenge you to live to your best and highest potential. Because with Master Shah, it doesn't take decades. Drop the knife. Become a Buddha. In an instant, you can let go of everything. Step into the Tao calligraphy field and be the embodiment of the greatest love, the greatest light that the Source has made available to us. And in this way, you can serve humanity. You will know why you are here on the planet and you will make a difference in the world. I invite you to join us Saturday mornings um, for our Tao Light Massage. This Saturday, Peter Hodoba will be leading. And then on the following, uh, actually, the is it the following? No, I think it's... On the 16th, we have a very special event. On the 16th, at 10 a.m. from 10 to 6, um, Cher O'Rourke, Grand Master Cher O'Rourke and I, are going to lead a very special event. It's called The Art of Sound Healing, Your Journey to Wellness. She and I have been leading practice groups for 15 years or so. And we want to help you. We want to help you to release, let go of the pain, the suffering that you've become accustomed to. Let go of the condition. Let go of whatever it is that keeps you stuck. And, and serve, serve yourself, serve humanity at a much higher level. Each of us has a special mission in this life, a role that we are to play. Step into that role. Join us. Join Cher and myself all day on the 16th of April and for two and a half hours on the 21st. We want to help you. Not a lot of teaching, a lot of transformation. A lot of transformation through practice, through breathing, through movement, through flows, through Tao song, and so much more. Save the day and join us. Be free of pain and suffering in the field. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark, for being AV, for, being, for doing your third eye readings. Thank you, Monique, as always. It's such an honor to have you with us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your beautiful third eye images. Thank you for sharing your profound wisdom. Thank you, Cynthia. She is coordinating everything in the back and she makes all of this possible. Thank you to our um, Zoom um, uh, assistants, Melissa and Lydia, and to all the people who are serving. Thank you to all of you who registered and joined us tonight. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. 
Thank you so very much for being with us. Love you all. See you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.